This is Matt, Josh, Jim, and JD. We're going to be snorkeling Pond Series 3 in the Yankee Fork drainage of the Upper Salmon River. Pond Series 3 is a project that was put together to benefit juvenile fish, particularly through the winter. And to find fish during the winter by snorkeling, you have to snorkel at night. During the day, these fish conceal themselves in between rocks and trees and undercut banks. And at night, they come out and feed. And so by snorkeling, you can go in there and count them. This is early April. It's still winter in the Yankee Fork. Air temperature is about 25 degrees. Water temperature is about 34, 35 degrees. We saw bull trout, cutthroat trout, chinook salmon, steelhead, and whitefish during this snorkel survey. The fish were pretty lethargic um, and let us get really close to them. It was pretty easy to identify what they were. The camera doesn't quite show as much light as was actually visible. The fish were pretty easy to see. This is also using a very wide angle lens and so the fish look smaller than they actually were. That's about a six inch fish right there. Most of them were between four inches and six inches. This area used to be a large dredge uh -huh. pond. There was a, a dredge that went up through this valley that uh, turned the material over. This happened in the 40s and 50s. And they were uh, mining for gold. And the dredge left behind big piles of gravel and big ponds. And in the 80s, the Shoshone-Bannock tribes connected these ponds with the main stem Yankee Fork trying to uh, provide good habitat for juvenile fish and it worked uh, the juvenile fish used it but we found that as as we uh, evaluated it that the uh, uh, fish were using the channels between the ponds more than the ponds themselves and so when the need came to rehabilitate the area and redo it, we turned the ponds into channel. And that was done in 2012. It was a project, a cooperative project between Bonneville Power Administration, Bureau of Reclamation, J.R. Simplot, Idaho Governor's Office of Species Conservation, Shoshone Bannock Tribe, Trout Unlimited, and the U.S. Forest Service. 